Hey friends, welcome to Filled at Home today. My name is Ashley. Some of you might know that I'm an artist. I have a few video tutorials and time lapse of my art here on Filled at Home. But today, this video is for my fellow artists or people looking to ship their artwork and how to package your art safely and securely, making sure it won't get damaged in transit. Also, I'm gonna show you the cheapest ways that I've found to ship large things uh, distances. So today I'm actually shipping a commissioned piece that I made. I made this 36 by 36. It's very fragile. It's one of the most um, time consuming pieces of art that I have made. And so I really want to package it carefully. I'm sending it to Florida from Tennessee here to Florida. So if you stay till the end, I'm going to show you some tips on how to ship your art affordably and actually the cheapest that I've found. So stay tuned for this episode. Okay, so for step one of this, you're gonna need some cellophane. This is just cellophane wrapping paper. I actually found this at Hobby Lobby, so any craft store. And you're gonna need some scissors and some tape. And the first step that I like to do is to wrap my painting in cellophane to protect it, to protect the outer layer that's been varnished of the painting to keep it safe, to keep it from getting scratched by cardboard or anything like that. So let's get started with that. I'm just gonna keep wrapping and just make it go all the way around the back as well, just to have one good layer here of cellophane. So for the next part, I've covered all this with cellophane and now um, I'm gonna take some foam board, large pieces of foam board, or you could use cardboard that you might cut up. And we're gonna basically kind of create um, kind of like a box around this to just secure and keep everything flat from getting um, punctured or damaged or anything like that. So we're just gonna kind of put this on here and I'm gonna use a box cutter to cut around the edges to make a box. One more thing I wanna mention is you might notice I have some cardboard underneath what I'm doing today. So just make sure that you always have something uh, underneath as kind of a cutting board so that you don't, uh, you know, mess up the ground underneath. Okay, so I've made kind of a secure box around the entire thing. I attached a thank you note that I made for the customer and that's always a really nice little tidbit that they enjoy. Um, next, you're going to take some bubble wrap. Um, probably the thicker kind of bubble wrap is the best. I, I know you can get that, but this is the one that I found. Uh, I'm just going to wrap the entire thing in bubble wrap securely just to give an extra layer of cushion. Okay, so here we have um, the painting is now packaged with all of the bubble wrap. And so the next step we're going to do is take as much cardboard as you can find. I was so thankful my husband was able to find this cardboard, I believe at a construction site that he was working at. So if you're lucky, you can find cardboard, just large pieces somewhere. You could even try um, a grocery store like Walmart or something like that. They might have stuff they're trying to get rid of breaking down boxes and that is what i use but you can also go the route of choosing to buy a box but i find it just it's not that easy but it's not that hard to make your own box so that's what i'm going to do today so i'm just taking this giant piece of cardboard and i'm going to lay this on top and do some measurements and i'm going to leave probably three or four inches on each side I'm, 
maybe three inches on each side as a as kind of a barrier outside of here so um, you'll see me I'm gonna measure with a tape measure and then just cut both of my pieces out and make kind of a box So what I have going on here is, is trying to make an edge for this side of the box. So I basically just uh, scored a line here and I scored a line here and that is going to be the thickness of the package. Okay, so I have this edge of the box here and what I'm actually just gonna do is cut that side off just to make it a little more simple here. Just do one edge at a time. And when you're making a corner, um, you just wanna make sure you have a lot of box on the corner. So what I did here is I made, I scored an edge. I'm making the edge here. I'm also gonna do that with the corner here. I'm gonna um, basically score the inside part of it. And I'm just gonna fold it inwards. So it's gonna... So it's gonna fold in like that. And then I'm gonna make sure to wrap everything very securely with a lot of tape. Okay, so I've I've made my box now. Um, I am gonna be going by the store to hopefully get some more packing paper. I'm gonna stuff it down inside this little, little area I have here left over. Um, I usually do recommend that you put some sort of cushioning or packing on either side of the um, the canvas once you've you've kind of secured it and everything like that. But I'm ready to go ahead and figure out how much this is going to cost for shipping and measuring it and all that kind of stuff. So you're going to need some sort of a scale, okay? And I'm just going to lay this on top, okay? So it says it weighs 12 pounds and three ounces. 12 pounds, three ounces. And then you're also gonna wanna take all your measurements for height, width, and all your dimensions. So go ahead and write all those things down. And then you're gonna get your computer out and I'm gonna show you the cheapest way to ship your paint. Okay, so this amazing website I discovered, which you can get deep, deep discounts for shipping, way cheaper than taking it to UP UPS or USPS. Um, and I prefer UPS, by the way, because I do feel like they give better customer service. They do better handling, a little bit more careful with your package, especially with something fragile like this. So I'm gonna go to Pirate Ship and I'm gonna go ahead and go to create a single label. Okay. And then I'm gonna put you know all my info in and you're just gonna put your package dimension. So we weighed it as well, and that was 12. And then it said three ounces. I'm gonna add a few more ounces just for um, some of the packing materials that I'm gonna be putting in. So I might go ahead and just say 13 pounds. And let's see, what did it say? 42 by 3.75. Okay, and you're gonna answer all these questions. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my customer's information here, and I'm gonna show you guys in just a second what the rates look like. Okay, so you can see here, I put in all my info, and now I'm getting some shipping quotes here, and I'm getting UPS Ground, best shipping with $100 insurance, uh, estimated delivery time, all that kind of stuff for $40. That is amazing. The retail price on this is normally $81.77. So I'm getting a huge, like 50% discount. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this. I am, it will, I'm gonna buy my label. And guys, like literally this will save you guys so much money and save your clients so much money. And I'm sure they will really appreciate it. Hey friends, thanks for joining me today on Filled at Home. Um, I just finished up printing my packing slip that I got from Pirate Ship. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and let me know in, down in the comments if this helped you, any of the information and how your packing experience worked out for you. And I'm gonna head over to pack my stuff and ship um, over at UPS. I'm heading out right now, but I wanna thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this episode and learned something new. Thanks guys, bye.